Hey everyone, I'm Lucas Kwiatkowski, founder of Nomads, advanced and hands-on Amazon PPC. And I'm finally gonna start bringing you guys some content on DSP. So I've been working over the past few months to get DSP accredited and slowly starting to introduce some of the brands that I manage to DSP. Now, if you've never heard of DSP before, the quickest way to describe it is it stands for demand side platform. So everything that we do in Seller Central with sponsored products, sponsored brands, that is search. That's, that's point of sale. You pay for clicks. You get the customer when they're at the very end of their shopping journey and it's made for conversions. DSP, demand side platform, is built, is paid by impression. It's more top of funnel. It's built to build brand awareness, to retarget to customers. It's a different way to think of ads. Just as a kind of a teaser here, as I'm just getting started and don't have a lot of advanced content for DSP yet, if you guys are handling it, I want you to remember to always look at the bottom line, okay? So I have a smaller account here that's been running DSP since the middle of last year. So they've been running since about June, right? And that's right off the bat here. I have June of 2020. They had, did 103K in sales. June of 2021, 122. So they got a bump. We put a little extra spend into DSP and it's paying off for us. Now, and, and this is it. A lot of people, and they'll even talk about this, they think that DSP is, is double dipping. So they'll double down on spend, right? They'll increase their spend and their overall numbers won't go up. Because sometimes what DSP will do is it'll retarget to customers that are already going to buy your product. So think about that for a second. And if you are spending, take a look. If you are spending more and more on DSP every month and your overall sales aren't going up, you're double dipping. So you can dial it back, okay? Just makes a few simpler orders in there and always make sure that your overall numbers are going up. So January, they did 130 compared to last January, they did 114. Not crazy growth, but I can tell you that a lot of these new sales are coming from DSP. And if I hop into this really quickly, I'll show you that last month, we only spent about what? $8,000 on DSP from two orders. So think of orders as campaigns, right? Every order has a different targeting type, whether it's upselling or remarketing or conquesting. Those are, the, are some of the terms I'm gonna to start to drop in here. And we started this with a lot of other orders. We were doing everything, spending, you know, spending 15,000 a month at some points. And we said, this actually isn't doing much for the bottom line. We cut it in half. Now we're just focusing on the orders for upselling and remarketing, using the DSP as the tool that it is. We're using the DSP to retarget to customers that have clicked on our product and not bought. And then once they get into Amazon, our search ads are still doing most of the work. So I can tell you that last month, DSP spent 8,000, search spent about 24,000. Right, so searches still triple the spend of DSP, but they're working in tandem, okay? That's another thing. If you have someone running DSP, have them talk to your other PPC manager if they're not running DSP. Even though these are different platforms, they should work together and feed off of each other. But going back to this one more time, make sure that if you're overspending here, it's just like in search. It's very easy to overspend, and a lot of agencies charge you on spend. So that's all they care about is that you're spending more and more. But if your overall sales aren't growing, what's the point of spending more, right? Dive in, find what's working, spend on that, and you can probably cut, trim back some of the fat and focus more on long-term growth there. So I'm gonna be coming with more DSP videos as I'm building these out for my clients, starting from scratch, showing you guys how to scale that smartly and also how to scale it with search ads in tandem.